Hi, darlings. This is for my cancers. And this is for the week of the 26th of March to the 1st of April. I will be using my Witch's Tarot deck. And to clarify, I will be using Learning Tarot Cards. So, Cancer, let's see what messages we have. The three of wands, you're waiting or you're longing for something. Maybe a journey, maybe a message. Something about a new beginning. The ace of wands, that was the three of wands. That was the ace of wands. The moon, are you not seeing things clearly or are you now seeing things clearly? The six of wands. I would say, yes, you are seeing things clearly. You're successful. However, the two of swords, you have a decision to make and you're kind of stuck. You're thinking about communicating with someone to get clarity. That's the ace of swords. Some kind of communication. And the nine of wands. But why do you have your defenses up? You're resilient. You can do it. The ten of pentacles. When you do that, you might be able, you might be, have some, might have something to do with finances. Or being able to take care of family, your family. And the Page of Cups. Use your intuition. Use your imagination. You have a gift, darling. And you need to embrace it. You need to follow your intuition. Okay darlings so let's see the three of wands what are you longing for happy family Okay, Cancer, whatever it is that you're longing for doesn't seem like it's too healthy for you. I got the Devil card and I got the King of Wands. The King of Wands is a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius. And they might not be good for you. Okay, there might be something unhealthy. The devil can also show um, like an abusive situation or relationship, you know. Um, it could be an addiction, jealousy, obsession. But whatever it is that you're longing for, if you're longing for this person, this might not be a healthy situation. So think about it. Is that why you can't make a decision here? The Ace of Wands, I'm on top of the Ace of Wands, the new beginning comes the Star card and the Magician. So there is a new beginning coming for sure. You just have to keep the faith and keep believing in you. Because you're very magical right now. Okay, darling, the Star card and the Magician. There is a new beginning, but it's up to you. 
Or maybe you let that situation go and you're just like, maybe thinking about it, maybe, you know, no matter how bad a situation is in life, when it's over, we still, there's some kind of heartbreak there, you know, it's like finally letting go and releasing it. You know, so you feel a little sadness. So maybe that's what you're going through. So the moon, whatever it is that you're seeing, is coming with a new beginning. I got the fool and I got the queen of pentacles. Abundance. Abundance. The fool and the queen of pentacles. Now... The Queen of Pentacles could be an earth energy in your environment as well. Or you could be thinking about a business idea or something to do with money. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. They're very focused and very money-driven. They keep their eye on the prize. So the Six of Wands, whatever it is, you will be successful. And there comes the Queen of Wands too. So there is some kind of um, fire energy here that you got your your guard up about. This is a, like the King of Wands. The kings are the doers. The queens are the thinkers and stuff. It could be the same energy. Um, this could be a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius. And there's an ongoing battle battle between you and this person. But you're victorious. You just don't see it for some reason. Because you got to make a decision, you know. You're tied up here. Let's see. You're going to have to come up with this decision pretty fast. And you're going to start. You need to start using your intuition. Okay. You got a gift, the Page of Cups. You need to use it. You got to use it pretty fast. Use your intuition and you will be able to make that decision. Go within you. Trust you. And the Ace of Swords. Let's see, the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords. We got the Knight of Pentacles. And the Justice card. The Ace of Swords. So communication. You need to be patient. Okay. It's coming. It's coming slow. And the Justice card says, I get what I give. So... You're waiting on some kind of communication. It might be communication in regards to money. And you probably will get it because this is karma. This is karmic justice for you. For every action, there's a reaction and there are consequences for everything. So whatever you give out, you get back. <clears throat> If this is something to do with a legal case or whatever, it might go in your favor. It will be fair, whatever it is. And on top of the nine of wands here, we got the six of pentacles. So you got your balance back. And you're moving, all, moving on to calmer waters. You're transitioning. So maybe you will come out with some money and move on to calmer waters. And with that, you'll be able to take care of yourself and your family. Happiness, family, love. That's way too many. Oh, come on, Michelle. Celebration. 
So there'll be reunions once you transition or once you go on this, you know, you move away from wherever you are. Um, there will be some kind of celebration with your friends, um, some type of reunion. And um, you're going to feel renewed. You're going to feel like brand new. And you deserve it. The Three of Cups and the Judgment card. And the Page of Cups, this is you. You have to use your intuition. You have a gift. Just got to wake it up. I got the Knight of Cups. Some kind of proposal coming your way. But this proposal is going to cause a little confusion. I got a tower. Got the tower. Hmm. You might not want to take the romantic proposal. Use your intuition, okay? I can't tell you what to do. <laughs> but you got the Knight of Cups, which is some type of proposal. And with that proposal, it'll bring chaos and confusion. Now, you went through a change, some kind of change here as well. So sometimes... This here too is change, and sometimes the change is like sudden, and everything collapses, and you feel like really out of sorts, and you can't think, and you feel confused. Just stop for a minute and bring yourself back in. Meditate. Sometimes things have to break down in order to build back up stronger, okay? So, the tower card says, I surrender to the storm. Fix the things you can fix and let go of the things you can't. I love you guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye.